so if you look into the current and the voltage characteristics of a, of any device of a nmos or a pmos you see something like this this is the, this is the current this is the voltage and this particular line at uh, this particular line is referred to as threshold voltage which is which is the vt so your current increases after vt only basically the uh, the uh, the way the nmos works is after threshold voltage your nmos turns on where when, when i say nmos turns on there is a current that flows from source to drain that is what we what we mean by an nmos turning on or a pmos turning on in that sense so if you see over here after after you cross vt there is an amount of current that flows between source to drain which says that when vgs is greater than vt your nmos is turned on now if you if you look the curve in the reverse way you see you see a small portion over here in this particular area if you see it it does not turns on it turn, uh, the the nmos does not turns off immediately as it goes below vt there is small amount of current there is small amount of current in the, it could be in the range of uh, microamps but there is an amount of current that flows even if we are below vt so that particular current and and the flow of current is basically what it's it's a uh, it's a power so uh, th that particular current is referred to as sub threshold current because that this particular current is below threshold and anything below threshold is called as sub threshold